drought and famine. Hello, hello, welcome to my channel. This is your girl Morgan of Morgan Ashley, where we focus on a little bit of everything. If you are new here, welcome to this channel. I really do appreciate you for clicking on this video, clicking on my face or if you just stumbled upon this video from checking out my other videos, I appreciate it. But I will ask that you do not leave my channel without clicking on that subscribe button. All of the support really does matter and count. And if you're returning here, hey y'all, how y'all doing? Thank you for the continued support and subscribing. We are on our way to 500, we're almost there. And hopefully after that milestone, we'll hit that 1000 milestone. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. So today's video was actually a request from a fellow subby who actually asked for it in the comments. Um, they asked to see my full bag collection. Now, this is gonna be a lot for me because I have quite a few bags. I mean, not as many as some people out there, but this is a lot to go through. So I am doing it in no particular order. Um, I am gonna do it, I think, by brands. So I am going to start out with the wonderful house of Louis Vuitton. Um, I'm actually gonna start off, I think this is my first designer bag actually. I mean, I think everybody has one within their arsenal. It is of course the Louis Vuitton Never Full. I have the size, this is the largest size. This is the GM I think. Um, of course in the um, monogram um, print. Is synonymous everybody knows the LV monogram it's classic it's chic as you can see the my bag has been through it through it um the patina has patinaed but that is the luxe like that's why I love Louis Vuitton it's just when it wears it wears so good this bag is so durable the quality is a plus um I got this bag I couldn't even tell you when. I think I've had this bag maybe since I was, it was definitely after I graduated college. So I graduated college in 2012, you do the math. Um, I think I got this bag in maybe 2014 then, maybe like two years after college. Um, I used one of my, mind you, I was never the type to charge cars, but I was like, I'm getting me a Louis Vuitton. I just got my big girl job. I was like, I'm getting me mine never full. And we got her, but this bag has been used as a work bag. That's what I use it currently as. I use this as a travel bag when I'm on, as far as like my um, personal item when traveling on the airplane, because you see the size of it. You can literally fit any and everything in it. You need one. If you don't have one, if this is too big for you, of course they come in the smaller sizes. This is a bag that everybody needs. If you're not a fan of Louis Vuitton, I'm just telling you to get the Neverfulls their travel bags or everyday bags, you are definitely gonna get your money's worth. Again, you see mine, but the quality is still there. She has had a weight put in her and look at the strap, still in good intact. And even if something does break, you can always take it to a cobbler or like, you know, leather surgeons or whatever those other type of uh, bag repair companies, they can fix it for you. But that's her and I love her. Now sticking into sticking with the House of Louis Vuitton, we are going to move into our next bag, which I actually have a what's in my bag or a review on. And we're gonna be talking about the, of course, Louis Vuitton bum bag. They did discontinue the monogram version i think because they're coming out i think they're gonna try to redo it or you know change it i don't know but it is discontinue if you have one you can actually resell this bag for probably almost double your money um i'm never gonna sell mine just because i love this bag you can wear it so many ways you can wear it crossbody you can wear it as a bum bag you know a, um on your waist you can wear it on your shoulder and then of course what i really love about it you can also wear it as a top handle um this bag fits so much you can use it as every day you can use this to even style up an outfit just because it's a piece that it is um you know a po it was a popular piece but still everybody doesn't have this they come in of course the monogram which we love um i love louis vuitton monogram if you haven't already got the hint of um as everything has been in that um you know classic lv monogram print um you know the coated canvas 
um but i love this bag it is definitely one of my favorites this is what my current bag is actually if you can't hear it i have things in this bag right now um and yeah i love her moving on we have we have our felici pochette this is like a taupey i'm not sure the 100 um i don't know the name of this exact color but this is like a taupey gray color so this is in the leather so this was more expensive than like you know the coated canvas um it's not too expensive it's not too bad for you know house of lv for louis vuitton but it's still more expensive than the coated canvas but i really wanted to venture off of the um classic monogram just because i have other monogram pieces and i wanted to try something new and also i still wanted i want the smaller pochette i think in the monogram um but I, again i just wanted to venture off and also they didn't even have the monogram available i got this bag right before my 30th birthday in 2020 and this bag was basically sold out in all colors so this and i think maybe the red leather one were was available and i had a red bag at the time so i was like let me go with this cute gray taupey color just because it was it was straight like it's not strange per se but it was just something that i didn't have it was just a color that i felt was you know neutral can go with so much you can um definitely dress this bag up and down um as you see it right now you can use it as a clutch it's so chic and it has the gold hardware and if you open her up she does come with the uh gold let me get her out of there the gold chain as you guys can see so it's definitely long enough to wear on the shoulder to wear crossbody um it does also come with two inserts i can say so you definitely get your money's worth when you get this bag so you get a zip up type of wallet i don't use these inserts at all just because whenever i use this bag is more so um in the evening so i really don't need this stuff it's just too much um i am going to try to start wearing her more day to day because i do see people wearing this bag as like a daily bag but there's certain bags that you just want to keep in pristine condition and not always wear and get that wear and tear out of and for me this is that bag um so again you get the zip up wallet so cute in that monogram as well and then also you get this insert of cards so this can be for coins and then this can be for your cash and your credit cards and you see the hot stamp of the louis vuitton paris and yeah and the inside of the bag let me show you guys that actually it is somewhat it is in the, the interior this is like a canvas materials but this the bag on the outside um the outer this is leather um and inside you have one pocket here and then you have the major pocket here but again you can input your inserts and this is how it looks with the inserts but i like this bag so cute day or night and then to end off louis vuitton this is not really a bag but i felt like it was an honorable mention i actually got this bag off the pre-love market um i forgot who i actually got this from i think i got this from lauren which is on instagram oh, her name is curator lab um she is a reseller um it's very hard to actually find these i don't think they even make this shape anymore um, I think, of course, the little toilets, they come in the square and even those, they somewhat stopped selling and then they came out with a version because people were adding straps to it and now you can technically buy one for like a thousand dollars more. Um, but if you are able to get this on the pre-love market, you can get these anywhere from four to five hundred dollars. I think I got mine for like four fifty. It was in like pristine condition, brand new, as you can see, like the corners are great the inside was immaculate like it was me who dirtied it in the inside i actually use this um now in my louis vuitton neverfull like again i use the neverfull currently as my work bag and just because i have a lot of different knickknacks um as you saw i have different pills my contact lens cases i just this is just easy for me to keep you know those little toiletries and knickknacks 
um, all in one place and in that large bag. So I use this. But I really, really do enjoy these. If you can get your hands on one of these, definitely do so. Because you can even resell these. These are always going to resell to get your money back. So that was it for Louis Vuitton. Now let's move on to Fendi. So first up for Fendi, it is, of course, the Nano Fendigraphy. If you are interested in this bag, I actually have a, uh, I think an unboxing and initial review thought video on this bag. Um, I got it when it first came out. I actually really, really enjoy this bag. Um, they have increased the price on this bag, so get it while you can, because I think this bag is not going anywhere anytime soon, and they're probably just going to keep increasing the price tag. Um, but as you can see, I got it in the black version with the gold hardware. Um, now it comes in like this beautiful denim, dark denim color, which I love. I wish they had it back then. Back then, um, when they first were released, it came in black, it came in a pink a blue and um i think a white color um but i went with the black just because it was classic i feel like it would age well um and also i didn't really have i didn't have any black bags with um gold hardware and this bag is fully leather you can attach a strap it does come with a gold strap that you can buy from fendi and use it but that strap was like a thousand dollars and we weren't going to do that to this day, I still have not bought, like, bought something off of Amazon for it. I actually use this gold um, strap that I have gotten from a Zara bag. And I attach it like when I want to wear it as a shoulder bag. But 9 times out of 10, I literally carry it like this in my hand. It is great for evening. You can... It is small, so you have to be very limited what you put in. So usually I can put in like my key fob, my house key, um, like my ID, one credit card, my lip gloss, um, a compact, and a makeup brush, like a makeup brush to touch up my makeup. And that's pretty much all I can fit in this bag. That's the only downside. But I can fit my fan in here as well. Um, that's definitely needed for me in the summer. But this is another bag that is small but mighty um you know micro bags are still a thing but you can also wear it um on your wrist like this and i definitely wear it like this as well it's definitely handy when you're out you know doing what you're doing and you got a drink in this hand you got your phone in this hand and you don't have to worry about your bag but i love this bag i would highly highly recommend and also quick note um if you didn't watch that video i got this uh for retail price full retail um and i bought this off of fendi.com um, moving on to Fendi Baguettes. This past year was the 25th anniversary of Fendi Baguettes. The, once they came back, they have not gone anywhere. They are still very popular. The price keeps going on up and up. I have yet to get my hand on the new Fendi Baguette style. Um, I should have pulled the gun and there was one available. I believe it was on Italis for like, it was in this beautiful, um, blue, baby blue color but i had just gotten a baby blue color then i saw another one in like this cranberry red color that i don't have any bags in but i i was like no 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 and i missed the bullet it was on sale for like right under two thousand dollars um i have not seen anything go that low again um i've seen it that bag those bags still on sale um the small baguette versions again the newer versions for like twenty four hundred dollars i think the retail price right now was like 30 between 34 and 3800 dollars so hmm but since i haven't gotten a deal on the new version i went the vintage route and so i have three fendi baguettes that i have acquired within like the last year all on the pre-love market um starting off with the first one so this is the first one that i got um a fendi baguette again i got this from a reseller on instagram at curator lab lauren um, this was basically in new condition. It literally had the plastic still on it. I have no idea what year it's from, but this is, this is not leather. This is, um, like a jersey, black jersey material. Um, as you can see, I've worn the bag. <laughs> um, it probably has scratches now, but this is leather, black leather, of course. This strap is black leather and with the silver hardware she's stuffed right now i'm going to keep her stuff but as you see i love her if i was going out right now i would throw her on with my um outfit that i have on and yeah i really love this one moving on to the of course 
um, iconic Zuka print Fendi baguette. I actually just got this one as well. Um, within like the last month, as you see, the condition is immaculate. I mean, look at her. Like the handle is in great conditioning, no cracks or anything. The canvas of the Zuka is clean, boy. I got this again pre-loved from luxury promise they are a uk um, based reseller and they do actually have um resellers located here in the usa so you can beat um you know paying duties or anything like that and this one i've worn a couple of times i haven't got as much use out of it but of course this is the iconic Fendi print and I just love it, love it, love it. I want more bags in the Zuka print. I want the Zuka silk shirt, the Zuka um, pants. I just love this print and I just cannot resist. Again, I got both of these bags for about $1,000. Of course, if I would have been smart about it and got these bags probably two years ago, I probably would have paid between five and seven hundred dollars before the baguette reemerged. But that's what it is. But of course, this. I can resell these bags now for a little, a couple, probably a couple of more hundred dollars or even just get my money back because of the popularity of them. And not last but not least, I actually got this Fendi baguette on a deal on um, live shopping. This came from on Instagram. Her name is at Carrie Cutler. She um, is like a host that does the Covered by Crystals. If you've been watching my videos, you know that I do a lot of my pre-loved um, vintage designer shopping via live shopping on Instagram, via um, the network, um, what is it? Uh, oh, Covered by, Covered by Crystals, um, where he has on different people who usually resell vintage. A lot of it is more so vintage Chanel, but vintage designers such as Fendi, Chanel, Louis Vuitton, um, those type of design houses. Um, this one I actually got for $500. Um, Carrie had a someone who did a backsy, which is they said sold on the live, but they didn't end up paying for it. And she had already um, paid out her consigner. So I actually was able to get this as a great deal. Just if you think about what I paid for these other two Fendi baguettes. Now this one is a little bit more on worn condition, but when I say this one is 100% leather, like the strap is leather, the the bag, the body bag itself is all leather. It was in great condition. I'm always in okay condition. I and mean, you can definitely say because it's leather, like that's why it's flat. It has been worn as vintage. I can say like the leather is in great conditioning. Um, even the handle is in good conditioning. It's in that two-tone gold and bronzy color. Now, I actually am selling this bag. So if you check in the description box, I have a link to my Poshmark closet where it is actually posted there. Or if you're interested, um, leave a comment or message me on Instagram. You can find me at Miss Morgan Ashley. The Miss is spelled M-S, all one word. So at Miss Morgan Ashley, just how it's spelled on my YouTube. Um, and yeah, I have not worn this bag just again because I bought it just because it was a great deal and I knew I could make a couple dollars off of it. Um, and I mean, of course, it was such a great deal. I could not resist on hitting sold and I won, of course, so that's what it is. But this is definitely cute for a Fendi baguette. And again, if you're interested, she's available. Now moving right along to another um, classic design house, we are going to talk about the House of Gucci. Um, I have this now this bag collection is not including like all my clutches and things like that and just like you know like the Zars and the H&Ms we're doing more so designer contemporary contemporary brands and more so purses not clutches but I did remember that I had this this is a Gucci envelope clutch it is in this um like a dusty pink baby pink color my boyfriend actually got me this when we first started to date so this is like probably like four year four or three four three between five and three years old i don't remember when he bought this but this is probably like one of my first designer bags outside of louis vuitton just because like i mentioned my louis vuitton never full was my first like designer bag and this was probably either the second or the third one 
but I don't remember. But I rarely wear this bag. Just because I'm not an envelope clutch girl, I need a handle or something I can put on something. But of course, it was a gift from my boyfriend, so I would never sell it. I do try to wear it, just not as much. And this pink is just not something that goes with my closet, my wardrobe right now. But I do like it. It was the, um, what is it? The, uh, what is this design? I cannot think of it right now. Again, it was a gift and she is cute. It's just so big and if I if this ha if I was able to actually wear this on my wrist, I probably would wear her a lot more. But the fact that I have to do like this and she's flat, like I need things and her stuffing her is just not cute. But hey, thanks boyfriend. <laughs> um moving on to the last and final Gucci piece that I have is this Gucci Dionysus bag. Um, I think this is the medium size. Um, I actually got this on the pre-love market as well. I got this from Luxury Promise. Now, even still, these bags resell for like $2,000, um, I wanna say. I don't know the retail price off the top of my hand. Um, or maybe like they're they're in the higher end. So I think they resell for like maybe like between 15 between 15 and two thousand dollars This is a, a older version and I think they don't make this size anymore with the um, Triple pockets you'll see when I open her up But again, I got this from luxury promise and I got her for a thousand dollars. So I just could not resist I mean, she was in great condition. There was like a mark here and I tried to scrub it off and I ended up like like messing up the G. Now I can say I think because this bag is older, like this is like a coated canvas, um, the Gucci print. And of course it's a suede. Um, you see the darkening here. So I think of course this is why I got it for a thousand dollars. Um is just because of the minor wear and tear on the bag. But again, it was overall in I would say okay, good condition, but I just should have never done that, and I think it's because it's aged and me scrubbing it with a wet rag just did not i don't you know i shouldn't do that again i think it's coated canvas or coated leather so don't do that if you have a bag like this um now these come in different sizes um in different colorways like as far as the suede goes this one is a tan with the silver hardware the way you open this bag up is, is you do this the um you know the button on the side it opens it up and like I said, this is I think an older version because they don't make the medium like this anymore. So you have three pockets here. So you have two large ones and then you have a zipper one. And as you guys can see, mine is pretty clean on the inside. Besides the minor wear that I had, this bag was overall in great condition for $1,000. Like I said, these on the retail market are still quite expensive, almost up to the $2,000 mark. Um, now, I wanted this bag just because I wanted this bag. I really did love, I love this bag, but the only reason why I do not wear this bag as much as I probably should have is, or do, is because it is heavy. When I say the uh, hardware on this bag is substantial, like wearing this for hours, I wore this to the, I think I wore it out running errands or to the mall one day, and when I say, my arm was like oh my gosh the newer bags are able to cross body but as you can see this one you cannot cross body it i think the larger versions maybe you can cross body too but i think the newer versions of the medium ones you can cross body but this one is either you're wearing it on the shoulder like this or you're wearing it on the shoulder like this so this chain is just heavy of having to wear it wear it um up here so that's why I just cannot wear this bag like that. This is like for me now a bag, again, going to dinner, going out in the evening where I'm not having to lug the bag around so much. Um, like say running errands on a daily basis, it's a no. But overall, I would recommend this bag if you were, if you were interested in it. Um, it is great quality. I can say you can wear it in the rain just because it is that coat is canvas. You don't have to treat her, you know, as, um, you don't have to baby her. Um, she is something that will be very durable in any weather or if you're rough with bags like me. Um, the only thing you would have to be mindful for again would be the suede here. But let's move on.
Our next house would be the house of Saint Laurent to Eve, Saint Laurent YSL. This actually, okay, so this was my after the Louis Vuitton Never Full. Oh, it was this, then the Gucci, oh, Marmont. That's what the name is of that collection from Gucci, Marmont. It was either the Marmont Clutch or it was Never Full, then this and the Marmont. I don't remember, but this was the first like designer handbag per se, not like a tote bag that I purchased. And I got this from, mm, I could not remember the name of the website, but I did get it on sale, but this is probably, um, I still paid like $2,400, $2,500 of it being uh, on sale just because this bag retails for a lot. I had fell in love with this color. Um, now it is lambskin and nice because it was my, I told y'all dog bags. As you can see, she does have minor wear to her, but I mean, I think she's still okay. The back, like you do see the um, droplets. I don't know what that is of water or oil stains. Um, the corners, you do see the wear. Again, this is lambskin leather. So it is that soft and subtle, supple leather. Like you have to somewhat be careful with this. You cannot get this wet. Um, but I haven't like gotten her touched up or anything. I do not wear this bag as much as I do anymore. Just because, um, I don't know, it was my first one. So I dogged her out and now I of course don't want to wear her into the ground. So I think that's why I just don't wear her as much. I still love this cognac color with the gold hardware. This one, of course, you can wear it as a shoulder bag with the um, leather comfort straps here. I forgot the name of this bag. Um, I'm gonna try to list all the handbags in the description box. If I don't, please forgive me, but take a picture, Google search image it, Google image search it. Um, the inside is stuff, so I'm not gonna take this stuffing out, but it does have um, cloth interior. There are like card slots on it. Um, there is, I think this is the only size in this bag. I don't remember. Um, but this is my only YSL bag at the moment. I did actually have another bag, um, but I actually just sewed it on Poshmark. Like again, go to the description box, check out the link to my Poshmark closet. I post everything pretty much up there. I do have a Macari, but everything is pretty much through Poshmark. So if you are interested on in anything that you see, there's a possibility it might go on sale. So I would advise you to check out that Poshmark link and keep your eyes, you know, follow me for any new upcoming posts um, that pop up. But this bag is not for sale again. This is probably the first designer purchase I got. I, well, I'm not ready to sell her now, but she is definitely a bag you can dress up, dress down, wear her in the evening. I love this color. This cognac is beautiful with the gold hardware. And yeah, she is so good. I think there are smaller and larger versions actually thinking about this. Um, but this lambskin, you just have to be careful. Moving right along, we are moving to Valentino. Now this ain't the Valentino like that you buy at like Saks Office. This is the Valentino Garvani, you know, this is that Valentino, not that, not that Valentino. This is that, 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 that Valentino. Okay, um, so this is the, uh, what is this? This is the Roman stud um, bag. This is the small version I have. They do, it does come, I think, I don't remember if it comes in a size smaller. I know it definitely comes in a larger size, but this is actually a the perfect size just because it is small, but it's not too small and it's not too large. It is, when I say the perfect size, um, I loved this Roman stud when it first came out. Of course, Valentino has the rock stud, which is the smaller quilting with their smaller studs. But I remember when this first came out and I saw it across celebrities pages on Instagram, I was like, oh my gosh, I love that bag. But then you go to see how much the price tag was. It was like, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> um, but I actually snagged this this summer. I bought this bag from, ah, I think I bought this bag from my Teresa on sale. I cannot tell you what the retail is right now, um, but I definitely did get it under retail. Hashtag she never pays retail. Um, I don't remember the price, but I definitely got a great deal on this bag. 
it is and this is not a true white it might be coming up as true white, but it's more so a I, w I call this a winter white i would definitely wear this in the winter winter white or like an off-white with the gold hardware this is um i guess you could say the older version because the newer uh bags come with a um gold chain strap but this one came with the leather strap i actually prefer this one just because if you think about it this is leather more comfortable compared to the gold chain i can buy a gold chain off of amazon if i wanted to do that type of style um but i again prefer this one it does have the top handle you cannot remove the top handle um you can remove of course the strap you can it does work across cross body you can wear it as a shoulder bag um and of course the top handle um you open it like this and again all the bags are stuff it is lined in suede um it has a zipper pocket on the inside don't mind that hair tie um it has a larger pocket on the inside as well um when i say i love this bag i actually really want some more colors of this bag um this bag is i can definitely say it's not as popular as i'm surprised as when it first came out of course when celebs were gifted it i think you saw it a lot more but you don't see it a lot on instagram as you know you might say like the fendi the nano fendi Graphy or a bottega uh veneta jody mini jody bag but this bag is definitely something that i think will be very classic um i love the larger rock studs just how the um i'm sorry the larger roman studs the you know how valentino's rock studs that's a classic for some people i'm not really a fan of the smaller rock studs but i love 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 the larger versions um when i say i wore this bag out i wore this bag out she's getting a rest because this just went with everything i think not only because of the color but it's just because the size of it again it's the perfect size like where you can dress this up in the evening and not feel like why she got that big old day bag with her it fits everything you need at night your makeup your fans your you know your touch-up brushes everything you need but at the same time you can wear this during the day if you don't want to carry her as the top handle of course you have the um strap to wear her crossbody um and like i said this can be dressed up dressed down i love this bag if out of my whole collection i'm saying that bag that you might be thinking about but you or you didn't know about check out the roman stud valentino bag this this is one love her hopefully i do like they have them of course in the pink hilo lux has the bedazzled pink one i think she's she probably got like a one of one or a one of ten i've never seen that bag anywhere else i love that pink um that bag probably just was thousands of dollars of course but the leather versions are really really nice and if i can snag one another off another one under retail i probably will do so now of course a fan favorite something that every probably body has or if you don't have a dupe you got the real thing i don't know i started off with the amazon dupe and i fell in love so i had to go get the real thing i did just do a video of what's in my what's in my bag and a review on the bottega veneta mini jody bag um, this is in the intricado leather. This is the uh, peacock gold, or I, I'm forgetting the name, but this is the Bottega green bag. Everybody knows this bag. I really don't need to say much to it. I did pay under retail for this bag off of self fridges. Um, and if you haven't watched that video, go check it out. Um, just because I think it's very insightful and helpful if you are on the fence about um spending the money for this bag it's well worth it but i love this bag um i can wear with this now like this green is just so iconic like this green has is synonymous with bottega veneta now um yeah she's the perfect day and night anything she keeps her structure like the top like this is just so cute and chic she's gonna be a classic she is a classic as we know the vintage will take the old uh the old bottega veneta those big old tote bags and that weaved leather like they just do leather so good it's so supple like it ages well go get it <laughs> so you guys i think we're halfway through the my whole bag collection that i'm going to share with you all if you have not already done so i'm asking you please please hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed so far if you're still watching at this point 
why not just hit that subscribe button you like something okay but no moving on we have the balenciaga um hourglass bag this is a size small so it is a top handle bag i got it in this beautiful blue color um with the silver hardware she came of course she comes with a crossbody strap that you can address um it is um somewhat slim but it's still good for crossbody i rarely wear the crossbody when i wear this bag um i do wear it like if i'm wearing this bag during the day and want to be cute I'll wear the um, crossbody strap, but nine times out of ten, I'm wearing it as the top handle. It is the perfect size. Um, I actually really love this bag. Of course, when I first saw this bag, I hated it, but I, of course, was influenced by continuously being seen or seeing it on Instagram and how people were styling it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I actually really love this bag. Um, I just knew once I got one, I needed it not to be black with gold hardware and just a color that everybody did not have um but something that was still very practical to me um i did not have any blue bags so once i saw this and of course i got this under retail i cannot remember <laughs> where i got this bag under retail um at but i did save probably about i want to say 700 to a thousand dollars off of the retail price of it um no I, I honestly don't remember i'm sorry you guys but it comes with a back pocket and you open her up a magnetic snap closure the inside has a zip pocket here and she is quite spacious that is another reason why i love this bag it is small and cute and chic but at the same time very spacious wearing it out at night you can fit everything you probably need in this bag and not feel like it's so heavy. It's definitely sturdy. I guess the quality of this bag is really, really good. Balenciaga does quality well most of the time. When it comes to their bags, they really do bags well. The leather, the quality, top tier. Um, but yeah, this is the Hourglass. I do not wear it as much as I was wearing it in the summer. But I'm going to try to get more use out of her. I do have the Bottega Veneta, um, you know, the quilted shoes. I cannot think of the name of them. But the quilted heels in the same blue. So that's another reason why I wanted to come go. They're not 100%. They're more so 90% color match. But it goes perfect. Even when I don't wear those, I wear this bag. And I love it. I would tell you, get this bag, but don't pay retail. Now, I have no idea how this bag got so far down the line, but she should have been like top five. I mean, she needs no introduction. There is a video on my page about this bag. Oh, give her a moment of silence. She's so good. Isn't she so good? Like she is so good like i don't even need to speak about her like she does all the speaking like let's let like oh. this is definitely a unicorn in my bag now when i say unicorn it's just because of what i got this bag for like again i have a video on this bag about chanel all of my uh vintage um chanel that i've purchased or acquired within the last year how i started my collection on vintage chanel jewelry bags whatever like i said go check out that video for all the details because you know what i'm about to give you all the details in this video y'all saw this bag this is my one and only chanel bag a vintage um maxi single flat bag i will show her off but if you want to know the details y'all gonna have to go check that video out she stuff she you see the condition like i don't need to really say much about her okay that's her that's it that's it so now we are definitely moving right along. We're going to get more into the contemporary brands per se that are a little bit more price friendly on your pockets um, where you don't have to break the bank on. Um, now, of course, these bags can still be considered expensive just because it is a higher price point. But if you are looking to get into get if you're looking to get into a good quality bag, um, 
and name brand per se or designer but more contemporary but like still under a thousand dollars these next set of bags are for you we are first going to start off with this beautiful japamoose bag um this is the la chiquito moyen in this beautiful like red lipstick um this lipstick red color as you can see her she is beautiful so this is the medium size version there is of course like i think a size smaller than of course the micro ones and there's a larger size of this as well um i actually want another jacquemus bag um the top handle one i forgot the name of it but of course when the micro bags per se first came out it was jacquemus who i think started that craze um with their the really small ones but then of course thank god they started to come out with larger ones um and I can say I really do love this bag. It is small, but again, something small, but very mighty. I can say you can get away with putting a lot of, somewhat a considerable amount of things in this bag. I actually wore it um, recently um, out on a date night and I was able to fit quite a, quite a lot of stuff in it. Um, you know, what I need for my uh, night out essentials. It does come with a crossbody strap as well. I don't really wear the strap. Um, I think if I was to wear this bag, um, during the day I would try to get away with wearing the crossbody strap but I feel like it could be a little bit it needs to be longer just because you have this top handle that is a little awkward and for me being on the larger mid-size um, side it's just like this is too short then this is like on my breast or digging under my breast it just wasn't it's just not working it's not practical it's not practical especially for larger chest women um, but overall, as far as an evening bag, I do recommend this bag. You definitely can get this bag under retail. Don't pay retail for this bag. It's always on sale somewhere. Um, this comes in different versions, colors. They now have, um, Jack Moose came out with a shilling. Well, I don't know if the shilling is in this style, but Jack Moose has something for everyone. It is a great brand as far as quality. When I say the leather on this is A1 top tier, um, and it doesn't break the bank. I got my bag. I think I got this on sale from Shopbop. Shopbop always has sales of Jacquemus. All the top designer websites has Jacquemus on sale. So again, if you are thinking about a Jacquemus bag, this bag is not going out of style. The shape is, you know, I wouldn't say classic, but you can still get away with it right now. If you were thinking about getting this bag, you can still get it and save some coin. But again, the quality is there and it's so cute another contemporary brand that we love is stod stowed s-t-a-u-d as you can hopefully see on the handle this is another great contemporary brand that does not break the bank um and it has great quality leather um this is the soft moon bag this bag came out a couple years ago. It does have a, I think this is the medium size. It has a version that is smaller. It has a larger version um, as well. I think there are versions um, also, maybe the newer versions that actually have a crossbody strap. This one did not. I actually got this on sale. Um, I believe this came from Bergdorf's um on one of their like you know designer sales that they had this is in a beautiful gray color i needed a gray bag and when i saw this of course i wanted it so i definitely um you know jumped on it while it was on sale um i can say this is so when i say this leather is so soft it is so soft i love the top handle um of this bag i love the shape of this bag it's just something very interesting but still so cute and chic um just to describe the bag now this comes off it's more so like a comfort strap i don't know why you would want to take it off like i guess you could if you didn't like the chunkiness of that but i've never worn it with it off um i think it's something you know that just gives something extra um to the bag makes it more interesting um and you just snap this back on there now of all my bags are stuffed i fyi i keep all my bags stuffed i keep them all in their dust bag um to try to preserve them i mean i spend money on my bags no matter if it came from zara it's in the dust bag from zara <laughs> okay um now the inside of this bag i'll try to unstuff this one it does come with a zipper closure here 
and it is lined in suede again like i said i think i got this bag for like under 150 dollars and this is genuine leather it is so soft and supple it will age so well i feel like the shape is you know hope it's like a top handle hobo bag per se um this shape i feel like you can get away wearing this bag shape for years and years i do say this is more so casual wear just because you know the shape the style of the bag i don't really dress this bag up at all i have worn this bag out of course in the evening but just because the size of it and the structure of it it's so sturdy um that's why i don't um really navigate towards it at in the evening um but you can of course wear this in the night um but it's just something that i more so will grab towards um during the day now this also comes in suede it comes in a multifaceted amount of colors this is just something so cute and if you were interested in this bag of course grab it on sale do not pay retail for this bag it is always on sale somewhere and this is so cute now we have this jw anderson bag um some of my first videos i actually was reviewing jw anderson the clogs and also this bag has a specific video on it so if you are interested in learning more as far as all the details go check out that youtube this bag i can say i have not worn it as much as i did when i first got it just because i think the snap closure just does not stay close for me and it sort of annoys me when i have things in it because of that um but overall i mean i really still do love this bag this color is perfect especially right now in the fall this beautiful mustard color with the gold hardware it still goes perfect with my um jw anderson moccasins um yeah i mean whole bags is still in style i mean larger bags are definitely coming back around so the micro bags they're still here to stay too but larger bags are coming back in style this bag definitely can carry a lot. This is something again that I would navigate I would navigate in um towards to in the daytime, more so just because it's more casual with of course, you know, the color, the shape, the style, just an everyday bag. So if you are looking for an everyday bag for a again, a good quality contemporary brand with good uh quality jw anderson bag i forgot the name of this bag per se but again like i said i have a video on this so check it out as you guys can see this needs no introduction this is the brandon blackwood mini kendrick trunk i got it in this beautiful metallic purple color now it is a top handle bag it opens like this it has a black interior now this is not um leather this is i uh, believe vegan leather um his bags are still a couple hundred dollars now and that's my only downside to it i just hate spending hundreds of dollars for bags that are not genuine leather um that's what took me a while to purchase something from him but of course i wanted to support uh, a black owned business and i really did enjoy his bags i especially love this shape um i wish it was a little bit more practical and you were able to open it wider um the larger version of this is of course larger so more practical but i just felt like it was too large for the shape of my needs i use this as an evening bag so i wanted the mini one but i just wish i could open it more but it's so cute and i really do enjoy these he came out with a like silver and a gold bronzy metallic color of the kendrick i think in a mini or the larger one i don't know but i missed it and i'm so mad i hope he like does a re-release of that one because i will buy that um i think i'm good on my brandon blackwood fix unless he comes out with something else or they change the opening of the bag but i do also um enjoy that it does come with a crossbody strap now the crossbody strap is not long enough for me just because again i have larger boobs and with the top handle like as you can see like it doesn't really lay flat it just becomes awkward for me and it sits under my boobs but i really do think this bag is so cute again i bought this to go with um i have like purple heels so i needed a purple bag and this was so cute like it really is just so cute it's just hard to get into it but i would i would recommend the brandon blackwood uh kendrick trunk i'm not a huge fan of all of his other bags but i do like this our next bag is something more so i wear in the summertime or on vacation i would 
say more so on vacation. I rarely pull this bag out during the summer, like when I'm, you know, regular day to day. I more so grab this bag out or pack this bag when I'm going on vacation. And it is this beautiful Colts Gaia bag. Like, oh my gosh, look at she. Look at, look at it. It's so cute, so different. It's just gorgeous. This is, um, I think they call this the Arc Tote. It's an acrylic bag. This is in a tortoise color. And I mean, this screams vacation. It's so cute. Like, oh my gosh. I love this bag. I got this, again, I got this on sale um, from, I believe, Shop Up again. And I can't tell you what the price is. I did definitely catch it as a sale because this bag is a couple hundred dollars even for it to be acrylic but i mean it's so different and the quality is there of course they have dupes of this bag across multiple sites I, of course amazon has dupes but the dupes are nothing compared to the real thing it has the cult gaia um like embossed here in gold and i mean it's so sturdy like you can feel the quality of the back. It has some weight to it. It's not no cheap acrylic, no cheap plastic. Um, this is so perfect for vacation. I went with the tortoise just because I felt like it went with a lot more things than going with like a specific color. Now they do have this in like a pearl white color that I loved as well, but I was able to snag this one on sale. So I got this. And last but not least, we're getting into our final bag. I hope you guys have stuck around. If you have, I mean, if you got, if you're, if you're listening to me now, you stuck around. So I appreciate you. Again, if you have not subscribed to my channel thus far, please pause the video, subscribe, subscribe. You don't even have to pause. Just hit subscribe, hit that thumbs up. I appreciate all the support. Even if you don't subscribe, check out some other videos, like I said, and then maybe, you know, hit that subscribe. But our last bag is Coach. I mean, you can't talk about contemporary brands without talking about Coach. Now, even though Coach, Coach's price point is not a lot of money, I mean, Coach's leather has always been top tier. Like, Coach's leather is top tier. Like, you can have a Coach bag. You literally pass Coach bags down from generation to generation to generation. The leather coach, coach uses and at the price point is just, it's out of my mind. Like I never understand the fact that their leather is so good. Like it is so good and it does not cost a lot of money. Now, of course we knew this bag, the pillow tabby, when this came out, this was a craze. Um, I got it in the mini version or they're, they have a size, I forgot the size of it, but this is the mini one. This is in the gold. Um, as you can see, the it looks like a pillow. It is so squishy. It comes with a crossbody. This is how majority of the time how I wear it with the crossbody. But of course, at the same time, if you wanted to wear it in the evening, um, I don't think I've worn it out in the evening just because, I don't know. Another reason was I could not find my top handle strap for months and I finally found it in the shoe box. But if you wanted to wear it as a top handle, you would just attach it to the side and wear it as a top handle. I got my bag actually, again, under retail, hashtag she never pays retail, a seamless plug or shameless plug for my Instagram and TikTok, which you can find me at, at Miss Morgan Ashley, the Miss is spelled MS. Morgan Ashley, just how um, I have all my titles on YouTube. Um, all one word, Miss Morgan Ashley across Instagram and TikTok. But anyways, I found this bag on sale. I believe I found this on Dillard's. And I think the gold and the silver were on sale, but I preferred the gold just because I felt like I would get more wear out of it. And also the silver version had like gold outlining and I was not a fan of that. I felt like if it was a silver bag, it should have done this, it should have did silver hardware. But that's why I went with the gold. Now I love this bag. Now this is a bag that I wear when I say I'm running errands, I'm throwing on my pillow tabby. She is very spacious. She is so comfortable. She goes with everything just because like I said, gold is a neutral. Even if you want with the silver, there's a neutral. This bag came out in this beautiful green color that I know I initially wanted when it first came out. But this bag, I think retailed for like 340 and I was just not comfortable spending that much money on the bag. And they also came out in the larger version, which I believe was four, 
40. Smaller version was three and the larger version was like a $400 price point or this was four and the larger version was a five. I don't recall, but I just was not comfortable spending that much money on a coach bag. Like I said, coach's leather is phenomenal. I knew the leather and the quality was going to be there. But just because you know what you pray coach as, I mean, if when you think about it, you go to coach outlets and you can save coins, even though also coach outlets and coach like stores are two different things if y'all didn't know some sometimes they can be they coach outlets has its own like line fyi but i knew i could get this on sale so i waited so i missed out on the green um i actually i actually bought the larger version in this pink color i was never in love with the pink but i got it on sale and i never wore it so i sold it i literally wore that bag one time and i sold it um but of course i kept this they just released these in sh like a shearling i think i need one like the coach pillow tabby is so cute this is gonna be a classic i love this bag coach has definitely come out and stepped their game up like i really really love some of their bags i actually had another coach bag that i bought but i sold it again check out my poshmark the link to it is in the description box below but coach is a go-to i definitely say this is something started if you have a teenager you can start off here or even yourself like if you are someone who just really wants a great quality leather bag start off with coach the price point is there you can always catch coach on sale you can check out coach outlets and yeah that was the end of the designer per se of you know the luxury brands and the contemporary brands now i'm going to go into some honorable mentions of bags that are really no name brand but i wanted to share with you guys so now these next three bags are dupes for and it's so funny i just realized when i pulled them out that they are literally dupes for the same designer and that is of course the house of bottega veneta um i didn't realize all of them were dupes for her um but they are now of course bottega veneta's price point is on the higher end so if you're like me and you do not want to pull the plug on spending that much money on bags it is always a great alternative to start off with the dupe because if you wear that dupe non-stop and you literally wear it with everything nine times out of ten it's just make the investment sis that's what i did with my mini jody um these other ones now i don't know yet but i just want to show with you i just want to show you guys and give you options of again if you're thinking about something go with a dupe and there's different avenues on where to get these dupes from so of course starting off with my dupe of the mini jody bag like i told you guys and earlier in this video i started off with the dupe before i grab the real thing also in that bottega veneta mini jody um what's in my bag review there's there's a video on my youtube go check it out i talked about that as well i picked this one up from amazon now as you can see from the bag um the structure is not there of course it is the same of, of course it is the same style but the structure is just not there um supposedly this is leather i got this off of amazon but who knows this is the lime green color i mean the details are there the zipper looks just like bottega but i mean i know like you just know and especially when you start putting things in here as you guys can see like it starts to sag and you just know it's not it's not authentic but this was definitely a great version and the fact that i wore this so much last summer i knew that if i got the real one i was gonna wear it out and of course i was right <laughs> Now, another Bottega Veneta dupe that I have is of the big old pouch bag. Now, this bag, um, there was different versions of it from Bottega when it first came out. I think like it had like lines in it. Now, I think it's like a smooth leather um, bag. And they also have it in like a black and white zebra print bag. I actually really, really love that bag. Now, the fact that these bags are like large clutches, I'm just not going to spend the coin on it because it's not practical for me. As you saw with my Gucci Marmont um, envelope clutch, I'm just not a clutch gir girl per se. And then this bag is just not easy to like carry like this. It's so large, like you have to carry it in your hand. I can say it's a little bit more comfortable, so like you're able to grasp it. 
but um i got the dupe I actually got this version or the, i actually got the idea of this dupe from carrot brick chick now she had the dupe of the of this big envelope clutch from um bottega she actually ended up getting the real one and the black and white zebra one i believe i don't think she has the gold one but i think she has the black and white one just because off of the, the dupe she was wearing it so much and she found this dupe on etsy from now this came from i believe uh indonesia so inside it says alus indonesia i believe this bag is made out of 100 percent leather you're able to get um a, like the you're able to you're able to specify the type of version you want so like you can get the big envelope clutch as like a really clutch then they have an option to like add a strap and then i think there's another version you can pick out the type of color you want the um etsy store has different colors you can get of course i wanted more so for evening and i did not have a gold clutch or evening bag so that's why i went with gold and of course to do that bottega dupe but this dupe just was not it um i, I don't know if you can see it but it started to rub so the gold started to rub i felt like in the beginning maybe when karen brick chick got it like it was better quality but since she mentioned it i'm sure like the store increased in sales so they just had to do what they had to do but the quality is just not there and this bag was like it was a it was a hundred i want it was a hundred dollars just under two hundred dollars i want to say maybe like 150 but it's real leather but it has no structure when you start to put things in it it just sags um i wish they had like a hard bottom or more structure to the bottom like there is something there but it just does not keep its shape like the real thing and again like i said the rubbing of the gold is just not it so i would say get the dupe of this version but don't do it from the etchy shop try somewhere else try try amazon now officially officially the last bag of our entire collection of course is another bottega veneta dupe and it is of the cassette bag the chain cassette bag I got this dupe off of Amazon. I love this bag when it first came out. But of course, I don't even think I, I was not spending money like that. And this bag in real life, retail is crazy amounts of money. And I was just not comfortable spending that much money on that bag. Still am not. Just because I got the dupe, I know it's not practical for me. And this bag now, the real thing, you can definitely catch on sale. But if you don't even want to catch it on sale, get the dupe. Nobody's going to know. I got this off of Amazon. Again, I think supposedly this is supposed to be leather. I got this dupe, I think, from Brittany of Pocket and Bowls, my fellow Libra sis. And she, I remember, showcased it like when she was trying on outfits. So I went ahead and grabbed me one. I grabbed the black version. Now, I can say whatever material this is, it is it is soft um and it to me does give the uh look of real leather but again you never know because he's come from sure china so you don't know what you're getting but the chain i can say is substantial that's why i feel like i would get so many compliments on this bag and of course i'm like it's not real because the ch i think it's the chain the chain is not cheap when i say it's heavy it's heavy and that's exactly why even if i was thinking about doing the real thing it's just not practical when i say this chain is heavy it is heavy i could not imagine carrying this bag on a day-to-day -day basis this is an evening bag for me or if i'm wearing this during the day it's like going to brunch where i could put this bag down i'm not running doing target runs or doing mall runs with this bag just because this is heavy at the end of the day of course you can carry it here but child no and this i never wear it on my shoulder but even if you did like i said the chain is substantial so it's gonna hurt here but it's it's a very good dupe like it has the same like closure as the real thing the chain i'm telling y'all this was a good dupe i'll see if this store front on amazon is still available and i will try to i will try to link it below but if not i'm sure there, there's versions out there but this is a good quality one as far as the chain again i don't know if this is leather but yeah that is it you guys i hope you enjoyed my full bag collection this was a lot as you can see i have a lot of bags i still want to get a whole bunch more 
but she has to take her time. Um, I don't even have space for the bags that I have now. But overall, I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. Um, and to whoever suggested this video, thank you for the idea. This was a lot. I know I wanted to do a video like this, but I just knew it was gonna be a lot. But look it, you ask and you shall receive. If you guys wanna see another video in particular, please make sure you leave a comment below and I will try to do my best to make that video for you, but just give me some time. And overall, I hope you enjoyed. Please make sure you check out some other my some other videos of mine. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Miss Morgan Ashley. The Miss is spelled M S Morgan Ashley, all one word. And again, if you are not subscribed, please do so now. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> Through drought and famine, natural disaster.